Hi, hello everyone, Dr. T. Hokey here. I love fishing. In today's film short, I'm going to be sharing with you that took me over 30 years to put together out of five different log books, maps of the locations that I fished. You know, salmon fishing is an art as well as a science. And just picture you and your friends out on the waters of the Northwest going, well, should we fish over there? There's a lot of boats. Yeah, or here. How about if you could actually hold in your hand the map of that area that you're in showing the troll, the color combination, also the best times of the year to be there. Haha, -ha, that would be a valuable thing for you. So that's what I've done. The Washington's complete collection of saltwater boating and fishing hotspots. <laughs> My three-in-one chart book. So let's now start with this film short of the YouTube in North Sound. The very first map that I drew is off of Eagle Rock, maybe better known to the location in the Straits of Juan de Fuca, northwest corner, a little town in Kalalum Bay called CQ, out of Olson's Resort. We fish along the coal mine. We fish along the caves. Everybody goes out in the 600-foot water looking for the big summer run coho. But where I chartered with my clients, and very seldom people would come back to me in the fog after the day's fishing and say, where did you disappear to? Because I felt like Mother Duck on those days in the fog. I'd look behind me and there'd be six, seven boats following me. So this is where I would take my clients and limit on big coho, big kings, lingcod, halibut, and most of all, some days when they were in thick, <laughs> thick as thieves, black sea bass. But right in here off of Eagle Rock, stay in close to shore, troll with and across the current in this 80-foot bottom that you're looking at now. You're actually seeing the bottom of what it is off of Eagle Rock. And if I move in a little bit closer into that 25 and 30 foot of water, black tops, they look to me <laughs> like mushrooms growing off the seafloor. Who would have thunk at mushrooms in here off of Eagle Rock? Is that amazing or what? And if I move back out off of this area, you notice it's kind of cloudy with these mushrooms. But if I move away and get into the 120 foot of water, You'll see where the draggers, over the years, have taken these big wire nets and made these trenches, these ditches, in the seafloor here. <laughs> That's not a good thing. But this is Eagle Rock and the best time that I have found to fish it. And I'm a winter blackmouth guy now because of the closures and the restrictions. I found November for winter blackmouth. I'd go up, I'd get three or four, five, six, eight, 10, 15, 20, 30 kings. <laughs> My buddies and charters, I would, they used to call it the Tihoki mud up at Olson's. And the latter part, nothing but winter blackmouth. And we'd start the smoker and fresh salmon for Christmas. <laughs> Until next time, everyone, be safe out on the water. Of course you are, I'm sure. Sharpen your hooks and remember, fishing. Science.